everyone and welcome back to another video. So some of you may have noticed if you've been around here for a while that I've changed my intro and outro for my videos as well as my YouTube uh, display picture and my channel um, background slash banner thing. But yeah I just wanted to do a little bit of a rebrand for my channel because it's a new year and to be honest my skills with editing and YouTube have got a lot better so I thought it was a perfect time to step up from my basic intro and outro from my other videos and create something that was a lot more me and looked a little bit more, well, like I'd put a bit more effort into it because before it literally looked like a PowerPoint slide. <laughs> Please let me know what you guys think of my new outro and intro and also my new channel design. I did spend, I think, a whole day just creating it. So I would really like your feedback. I'm really happy with it. I'll probably switch it up again I mean, I won't have it forever, but I just thought it's something a bit different and makes my channel look a little bit better. Anyway, back to the topic of the video. So I did do a makeover on Bella Goth and Eliza Pancakes, and you guys seem to really enjoy watching that. So I thought I'd do a Nancy Lang grab one as well, um, but I made it as if she'd had some plastic surgery done, because as you know, the Landgrab family are really, really wealthy. They're probably the richest Sims in the game. So I thought it would um, sort of fit well with the storyline that she had some plastic surgery done to make herself look younger. But I also wanted to switch up her outfits because um, her outfits were really, really bad. Like, I feel like for a rich, glamorous woman, she really didn't look great. Like, EA are not great at dressing their Sims, but. I did um, use a tiny little bit of CC with this, not too much. I mean, I try to keep my game as Maxis and Maxis match as possible, but um, I do really like Alpha CC too. I've really got into that lately. I'm absolutely obsessed with The Sims resource. And if you're wondering where my custom content is from, about 90% of my custom content is from The Sims resource. But So definitely check that website out. It's so, so good. And you can pay to be part of the Sims resource, but it is also free. And there are so many amazing custom content creators on there. I would really, really recommend you guys go in and check that out. But back to Nancy, I'm really, really, really happy with the way she turned out. I feel like her outfits really, really match her personality. And they just make her look a little bit more glamorous compared to what she was wearing before. And you always see her around town and like when you're playing the game. And I just feel like she looks so out of place, so I've made her look a bit more fashionable and normal and just so she fits in a little bit more better with my gameplay. I am also going to upload her to my gallery, which is under the username Simile Official. if you would like to download her. I also have my Eliza Pancakes and Bella Goff Sims that I made over on there too, so definitely give that a follow and check that out. My Sims gallery, I mean I hardly ever used to post on it. And I've only recently started posting it, so I really don't have a lot of followers or anything. So if you guys could go and like support me on there, that would be absolutely fabulous. And it sounds bad, but before I become a, um, a Sims YouTuber, I didn't really use the gallery. Like I hardly even knew what it was. And when I discovered it, I was actually in shock at how amazing some people are at even just building in the game. Like they put me to shame. I thought I was quite good at building. And then I saw the people on the Sims gallery and I just thought, oh my God, like I don't even know why I'm bothering doing this YouTube channel because some people are so, so talented. I mean, some of the builds I've seen on there are crazy. And also the Sims post some builds on their Instagram. When I see them, I just think, how on earth did someone even build that? I'm such like a lazy builder. I like just boxes and making them look pretty, but I'm not really into doing all these quirky things because I like to spend more time on my gameplay, but honestly, some of the builds on the gallery are just next level. Some people's creativity is just insane. I really, really wish my creativity was the same, but it's not. It's really, really mediocre, I'm not gonna lie. I try my best with my building, and I do think my building skills have got a little bit better. If you see my, um, videos from almost a year ago now because my channel's almost a year old if you see my building videos from a year ago compared to my recent ones my building is definitely getting better and i have found by watching um other sims youtubers do building as well as looking on the gallery i have managed to pick up a few tips and tricks 
as to how to make my builds look better, but I am no way near as good as half the people, probably nearly all the people in the gallery. I actually cannot believe how amazing these people are at building in The Sims. To be honest, not even just building, like the way some people create Sims is absolutely wild. Like, I feel like my Sims look so, so boring compared to half the people on the gallery. And again, probably even everyone on the gallery. I feel like I really don't put a lot of effort into my Sims either. I do try, but some people are just so, so good at it. I just, I'm so jealous that people have those skills. But then again, I don't have a lot of time on my hands to sit there and spend loads of time building and um, creating Sims. So that's probably why some people might have loads and loads of time on their hands and maybe it's just because my creativity level is really really bad <laughs> put it this way if i was a sim i definitely wouldn't have creative as one of my traits probably lazy and goofy or something like that like goofball but definitely creative would not be one of them i've also been thinking lately about potentially creating my own sim save file but Obviously, that takes a hell of a lot of work. I mean, honestly, with a full-time job, I also have a flat that I need to look after. I have, obviously, a social life too. It's so, so hard to even sit down and play The Sims for myself, let alone recording videos. So, although I'd really like to do a Sims save file, I don't really know how much time I would have to complete it. I mean, it must take these YouTubers that do it absolutely ages i mean i know that lil simsy has a save file plumbella has a save file and i've seen a few others too but oh my god it must have taken them so long and some of them rebuild every single lot and i'm like the patience they must have to sit there and do that so i don't know it is something that plays on my mind a little bit i do think mm, should i do one but that is a lot of time to invest, so it's still on my mind, but I'm still thinking about it. I'm definitely enjoying my makeover and creative sim videos at the moment. I definitely go through stages. Sometimes I'm really into building, sometimes I'm really into creating my own sims or doing let's plays. But at the moment, I'm really, really into making over towny sims because some of them really, really look terrible. And I really, really enjoy giving them makeovers. So if you have any other sims you want me to give a makeover to, let me know down below. I really would like to hear your suggestions. I feel like I should make over more um, male sims, but I just find male sims, like even their, get, their clothes in the game, and when I try and find alpha CC for them, I just don't really like any of it. So making over male sims is definitely a lot trickier than making over the female townie sims. Also, I'm so, so excited about this new Tiny Living Stuff Pack. I did make a video um, with an overview of everything that we can expect from that pack. If you want to go and check that out, that's on my channel. But that is just, well, it just looks like such an amazing pack. Like, so cute. It's just what we wanted. I'm a bit disappointed that they didn't put Murphy beds in with Discover University. I do feel like that would have suited Discover University more. But... All in all, I am so, 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 so excited for this pack. I'm definitely going to be buying it. It's a shame that I'm not an EA Game Changer and get the packs for free. I'm so, so jealous of those people who are EA Game Changers and get early access and don't have to fork out loads of money for the packs because, as you all know, Sims or EA love to charge extortionate amounts of money for a game pack and it's so annoying being a Sims addict because... We all know I'm going to pay it, but it's really hard and it really, really does hurt my bank a lot of the time. But we're coming towards the end of the video now, so please do let me know down below your thoughts on how you think my version of Nancy Landgrab turned out. I'm really, really pleased with her. You can download her from my gallery, as I mentioned before, under the name Simile Official. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm going to get into the screenshots now. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.